Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how I ship my, my product through tcgplayer.com. Main reason I'm doing this is I've had quite a few packages recently that have come in and they were very, they were not well packaged. I've had cards come in that are literally just loose in the envelope or just in a sleeve. This is how I do it. I do it two different ways when I'm shipping four or less cards. And that's what we're going to go over today, four or less cards, because you can use a single top loader. For my first method, I do, I'll just take two facing one way, two facing another way, put them into a regular sleeve, penny sleeve, upside down, just like that. So the opening's on the bottom. Then I will load them into a top loader. As long as you're gentle, you do no damage to the cards. You can pop it open like this and slide them right in. No issues there. And then you have two options when you get to this point. You can either use a team bag, which is two or three cents more than using scotch tape. You drop it into a team bag and just close it right up. Or you can use the scotch tape. I like to take about three quarters of an inch to an inch. Stick it to one side like that. Fold over the top. That's important. And then fold it over like that. The reason it's important to fold over the top like that is to create a little tab. So that your customer can just grab the tab and pull it right off. If they, if they don't have the tab to pull it off, it could be a pain in the butt and use the nails, or it, they might use a knife to cut the top, which could nick the top of the cards. The other method I use is when I'm shipping foils, because foils are much more susceptible to scratching. To give you an example, this is a card that I got, it was supposed to be near mint, but it got put into the envelope in just a sleeve. so the corner got bent. And that's a big bend and a big crease. You can see on both sides. I oh, know this is supposed to be light played, but for foils, I'll put in one like that and one facing the opposite direction. And then do the same in a second sleeve. And these two will fit in the top loader. Sometimes it's a little bit of a squeeze, but they they won't be damaged as long as you're careful. Also, another thing, make sure when you before you before you even pack something up, make sure you give it a good look over. See, when I do that, if I do four in one, I'll put it in a team bag because if not, it trying to put two sleeves of two cards each into a top loader it's you're going to damage it unless unless you, so you don't want to use scotch tape on foils when you're packaging more than two if you package two no problem just make sure the the sleeve is opening down so you can put the tape over or else the cards could com come in contact with the tape but with four foils and two sleeves in one top loader. Drop it right in there. And then what I'll do is I will take the packing slip, fold it over, fold it over, and fold it over, and then put it right in the envelope just like that. Well, you want to close the seal the team bag. I've had cards come in in all sorts of states in just the card in the envelope and I got it in just a sleeve I've seen them come in the card saver the cardboard uh, card savers I don't like those I have had them get damaged from that but they are much better than just dropping them in, in the sleeve um, and to show you why you should do this. You're not losing any money on the shipping. You, TCG Player recommends you charge $1.22 for shipping right now. 
when it comes to that, you have top loaders. Top loaders and sleeves. You can get a pack of 200 top loaders and 200 sleeves for $25.97 on Amazon. $25.97. That comes out to less than 13 cents for a top loader and a sleeve combined. And then you get your you get envelopes. $26.99 for 500. That works out to be less than six cents per envelope. And then the paper for the packing slip. Some people use the paper, some people use labels, whichever. This would be your cheapest option. You're talking $9.99 for 500. That's about two cents a sheet of paper. I can't get into the ink because I'm not sure. Depends on your printer. You know, some printers can print thousands of paper on one cartridge. Some pe some can only print 150 to 200. If you use the tape method, it's $14 for a six pack of tape. Each one of these has like 300 feet. Um, 600, 650 inches per roll. So you're talking, you know, what is it? 3,900 inches. That would be 3,900 envelopes or packs. That works out to be, you know, three, you can do three shipments with a penny. And then team bags, and they cost a little bit more, but they're still well worth it. Uh, less than five cents per bag if you go through here. Eight ninety five for two hundred team bags. Yeah, works out to be point four or four point four seven five cents per bag. And then the most expensive part is the stamp, and that's sixty eight cents. Um, believe that ended up working out to be ninety five cents. 95 cents to ship a card um, and where TCG player recommends you charge a dollar 22 per envelope you're still after TCG player takes their cut you're still making a profit of about three or four cents just on the shipping that's not including how much you sold your card for so I highly highly recommend going the route of a top loader with a sleeve in a team bag um, if you have any other questions or want to see how I ship my larger orders or more expensive orders make sure to ask down in the comments and have a fantastic day